Today we'll delve into 7 mistakes I made on my fitness journey. Just like a ship navigating through choppy waters, charting your path to fitness isn't always smooth sailing. Understanding these mistakes not only helps you avoid them, but also ensures a successful and rewarding journey towards achieving your fitness goals. So, buckle up and let's dive into the first mistake I made. The first mistake I made was not having a solid plan. Imagine you're on a road trip but without a map or GPS, you're bound to get lost or take longer to reach your destination. The same applies to your fitness journey. A well-structured workout plan, tailored to your fitness level and goals, is like your roadmap. It guides you on what to do, when, and how. Scientific research supports this, showing that structured workouts often lead to better results compared to random routines. Random workouts might seem fun as they offer variety, but they lack the progressive overload principle. This principle, a key component of effective training, involves gradually increasing the amount of stress placed on your body during exercise, fostering growth and development. Without a plan, you risk plateauing or even regressing in your progress. So, whether you're aiming to build muscle, lose fat, improve endurance, or all three, a well-thought-out plan is essential. It's the difference between working out and training. One is aimless, the other purposeful. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Mistake number two, I didn't take rest days seriously. In the early stages of my fitness journey, I believed that more was always better. But here's the truth. Rest days are critical for muscle recovery and growth. When we exercise, we create microscopic tears in our muscle fibers. It's during rest that our bodies repair these tears, making our muscles stronger and larger. Skipping rest days can interrupt this crucial process. Furthermore, research has shown that rest is essential for performance. One study found that athletes who incorporated rest days into their training programs improved their performance by up to 20%. That's a significant improvement just from taking a day off. Rest days also help prevent injuries. Overtraining can lead to a weakened immune system, increased injury risk, and even mental burnout. So, if you're constantly pushing yourself without giving your body a chance to recover, you're setting yourself up for potential setbacks. Remember, rest days are not just about lying on the couch all day. They can involve light activities like walking, stretching, or even some yoga. Rest days are not lazy days, they are growth days. The third mistake was being unrealistic with my time commitments. Let's face it, we all have busy schedules and juggling between work, family and fitness can be quite a task. It's crucial to remember that spending hours at the gym isn't necessarily the ticket to a toned body. According to research, short, high-intensity workouts can be just as effective, if not more so, than long, drawn-out sessions. These findings highlight the importance of quality over quantity. It's about pushing your limits within a manageable time frame, not spending all day lifting weights or running on the treadmill. Think of your fitness journey like preparing a meal. You can't rush the cooking process and expect a five-star dish. It takes time and patience. Similarly, achieving your fitness goals isn't about how much time you spend, but how you spend it. Remember, fitness is a marathon, not a sprint. Pace yourself. Mistake four, I ignored discomfort. As we delve into this fitness journey, it's crucial to understand that discomfort is not just a road bump, but a signal from your body. You see, when you work out, your body communicates with you. It might be telling you that you're pushing a little too hard, or perhaps your form could use some tweaking. Scientific findings emphasize the importance of paying heed to these signals. The body is a complex and beautiful machine, and discomfort could be an early warning system for potential injuries. Ignoring it can lead to a strain, sprain, or worse, a long-term injury. Just as you wouldn't ignore a flashing engine light in your car, don't ignore the signals your body sends you during workouts. It's not about no pain, no gain, it's about understanding and respecting your body's limits. So next time you're in the middle of a set and you feel something's not quite right, take a moment. Adjust your form, lower your intensity, or maybe even take a day off. Remember, fitness is a marathon, not a sprint. Your body speaks, all you have to do is listen. The fifth mistake I made was following bad advice. Now we've all been there. You're at the gym and a well-meaning fellow gym-goer shares their secret to quickly getting six-pack abs or losing weight. The problem is, not all advice is good advice. Fitness is a science, and it's crucial that the information we're acting on is accurate and safe. For instance, one common myth is that doing more crunches will lead to a chiseled midsection. In reality, spot reduction, the idea of losing fat from a specific area by exercising that area, is a myth. Our bodies decide where to lose fat, not us. 
Another popular misconception is that lifting heavy weights will make you bulky. The truth is, lifting weights can actually help you slim down and shape up, not bulk up. It's the number of calories consumed versus burned that determines whether we gain, lose, or maintain weight. Remember, everyone's body is different. What works for one person may not work for you. Always be skeptical of one-size-fits-all advice. Instead rely on science-backed information and consult with fitness professionals. Misinformation can derail your fitness journey. Always strive to be well-informed and make the right decisions for your individual path to fitness. Mistake 6. I lacked consistency. Consistency, my friends, is the secret sauce of any successful fitness journey. It's the steady rhythm of our workouts that builds our muscles and sheds those pesky pounds. You see, our bodies are smart. They adapt to the demands we place on them. When we exercise regularly, our bodies respond by growing stronger, fitter, leaner. But without consistency, our bodies slip back into couch potato mode, muscles deflate, and those pounds creep back on. Scientific studies back this up. Research shows a clear link between consistent exercise and improved muscle growth, as well as weight loss. The key? Regular, ongoing effort. It's not about crushing a single workout, but about showing up day after day, week after week. It's about making fitness a habit, a part of your life, not just a one-off event. So remember, every workout counts. Every rep, every set, every sweat-drenched session brings you one step closer to your fitness goals. Consistency is key in fitness. The seventh and final mistake I made was pushing too hard, every session. Now it's great to be motivated and committed, but there's a fine line between dedication and overtraining, and crossing it can lead to some serious setbacks. Overtraining is no joke, it can lead to physical stress like injuries, decreased immunity and even hormonal imbalances. And it doesn't stop at physical symptoms. Overtraining can also lead to mental stress, affecting your mood, sleep, and overall well-being. Science backs this up too, research shows that overtraining can actually hamper your performance and progress. Instead of getting stronger and fitter, your body is constantly playing catch-up, trying to recover from the intense workouts. So, it's crucial to find a balance. Remember, rest and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. It's not about how hard you can push yourself every single day, but rather, how smartly you can train to achieve your fitness goals. So, here's the mantra to keep in mind. Train smart, not just hard. And those were the seven mistakes I made on my fitness journey. From lacking a solid plan to ignoring the importance of rest days, setting unrealistic time commitments to disregarding discomfort, heedlessly following bad advice to inconsistent workout routines and pushing way too hard. Each of these mistakes played a role in stunting my fitness progress. But remember it's never too late to learn and adapt. So let's avoid these pitfalls and pave our way to a healthier life. Did you find this video useful? Leave a comment below and use our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart or keep track of your fitness journey. And remember, every journey begins with a single step. Let's make that step count today.